Hello cuties, in this video I'm traveling from New York to Bali on Singapore Airlines. I'm headed there for a wedding and if you guys know traveling to Asia is quite crazy right now. There's a lot of connecting flights and yes it is very expensive. The route that me and my friends ended up choosing was on the cheaper end but lots of travel time. However, we kind of see this as, oh, we get to hit up more places in one trip. We're actually flying out of New York. So from New York to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Singapore, and then Singapore to Bali. Yeah, three legs, ladies and gentlemen. But we get a layover for a couple hours in Frankfurt and also for a whole day in Singapore. More airplane time means more airplane food. So today we're gonna be reviewing economy food on Singapore Airlines. Before we fly, special thanks to Cometeer for sponsoring this video. Cometeer is a new form of coffee, no machine required. You get monthly shipments of coffee from A-list roasters delivered straight to your door. They come in these recyclable capsules, and here's why it's so cool. They brew coffee at 10x strength, and then they flash freeze it to preserve its flavor so that when you melt it at home, it is the perfect cup of coffee. As if you just went to the coffee shop and ordered this. It is the easiest way to make specialty coffee at home. If you want iced coffee, you can melt these overnight in the fridge or I just melt it under hot water. I pour some oat milk and ice and I just pour the melted capsule in and that's it, there we go. Oh, the coffee is so good. There's a Black Friday special going on, $60 off four boxes. What? This is a deal you don't want to miss out on and I think the deal is ending soon. So click the link in my description, commentheer.com slash cuptj to get up to $60 off across four boxes. Y'all can actually bring this on the plane with you and have amazing coffee on your travel day. It's TSA approved and it stays delicious up to 24 hours thawed. Click the link in description, get that deal. Okay, let's fly. <laughs> All right, I have sat down. So these are the seats. This is the screen, it's pretty big. Comes with these little AirPods for you to use. USB charge, headphones, all the lights and signals for the flight attendant. Cup holder. What's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, okay. And this is the table. Okay, I mean honestly the seats feel pretty small. This is what it looks like here, some pockets and just enough room to fit the bag. Not too much space here. So these is what the chairs look like, pillows and comes with another pillow and a blanket. And oh my gosh, look, my friends are on the same flight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh god. Okay, so this is the blanket. It's actually pretty thick and nice. Yeah, all right. Tell them. Guys, look how thick and fluffy this pillow is. Wow, it looks so comfy. Oh my gosh. Not sponsored by Singapore Airlines. <laughs> We're preparing for takeoff. I will see you guys when we have food. <laughs> It's time for the calming food review voiceover. So when I open up the table, there's actually this little mirror on the backside. It's my first time seeing this, I love it. It was dinner time, so you get two choices. My friends got the Asian dish, which is a black bean pork dish. And oh, it looks so good. Comes with rice, veggies, and some saucy tender pork. I actually got the non-Asian option just to show you guys more variety. So here's my meal. It comes with haagen ice cream. Oh, it's so fancy, I love that. Also some butter for my uh, little hard bread over here. <laughs> and y'all, look at these cute little utensils. I just wanna take it home. Just put it in my pocket. <laughs> I got the orzo pasta for dinner. It's my first time having this pasta. I actually didn't know what it was and I thought it was gonna be like a twisty pasta, um, but they're shaped like a grain of rice. It comes with chicken, veggies, it's very saucy. So I'm mixing it all up and I'm gonna take a good bite of it. Here we go. And the verdict is, oh, ah. Uh, I did not like that flavor at all. Um, and here's me trying to take more bites to see if it gets better. It wasn't the texture of the pasta. The chicken was quite tender. It was the sauce. It was this weird tomato sauce that was bitter. It was not very sweet and it was just not tasty at all. Um, luckily, my friends were full and gave me their meal. I was so happy. And let me tell y'all, this black bean pork dish was oh so 
good. It's a black bean sauce. It's like a sweet garlic soy sauce, and the meat was so tender. The rice perfect. I just love rice on the plane, and the veggies was fresh and crunchy. This meal was a slay. I mean, look at that happy face. I loved it so much. In fact, look at this. I cleaned off the whole tray except for the carrot, which I gifted to my friends. It's really fun flying with friends because you can bother them through the whole eight hours. Eat your vegetables. Thank you for this meal. It's really good. <laughs> And y'all, this was a lesson learned. If you fly an Asian airline, just order the Asian dish. <laughs> and then I had my ice cream. It used to be that you had to fly premium economy to get ice cream, but now everybody gets a treat. It makes me so happy. So I put on a little movie, and I think I fell asleep or something. But the last hour of the flight, they gave us little sandwiches with turkey and cheese. <laughs> We're gonna take a shower. All right, y'all, this is the layover in Frankfurt. We already went out for a few hours in the city and now we're back at the airport and we came early just because the lines have been so long at security, but it was a breeze. Luckily, you just never know right now, I'm traveling, especially in Europe. So at the Frankfurt airport, a lot of the lounges currently are full, but there's showers all around the airport. So you can pay, I think it was like, six or eight euros um, to access the showers and you get a towel, these little um, wash stuff. There's even a hair dryer, there's toilet, and this is the shower. So this is really nice. I'm going to freshen up before the 12, 13 hour leg of our trip. All right, y'all, it is finally time for the longest leg of this crazy travel trip. We are going from Frankfurt to Singapore. The flight time is 12 hours and 25 minutes. We are on the last boarding group. Here we go. <laughs> we are so tired. All of us are so dead. <sighs> the seats, basically the same right here. Pillows, same. Blankets, same. Now, this interface is a little different. Um, there's a controller this time. Cool, 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 cool. I remember playing a lot of games on these. <laughs> oh God, I'm breaking it already. Okay, so a little cup holder. The screen looking really big, actually. Hanger, USB. This is the table. Pretty much the same as the last flight. And all the pockets. There you go. For some reason, I feel like there's more space on this plane than the last one. So that's nice. I'm going to take a nap, hopefully be awake when the food comes. I'll see you guys later. Hi, I'm exhausted. Bye. All right, say good night. Good night, TJ fans. <laughs> Time for our first meal, and I learned my lesson and got the Asian option. It came with stracciatella ice cream. I'm so excited, I can't wait to eat that. And a cute little bread. I got a sparkling water, and there's a little cream and butter, the usual. So this is the shrimp dish, and the shrimp is pretty big and thick. It comes with fluffy rice and some very soggy looking beans and veggies. It's supposed to be coated in this garlic sauce, even though it looks more like a sweet chili sauce. I'm taking a bite here, and the verdict is... Not bad! Yeah, the shrimp had a nice chew, and it definitely tasted more like a sweet chili sauce than the garlic sauce, but I didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty good. I really loved how big the shrimps were, and I felt like this was just the perfect amount of sauce to shrimp. The veggies were, eh, you know, but the shrimp and the sauce with the rice? Yeah, solid meal. The best part of this meal was the ice cream. Oh my gosh, the little chocolate pieces in here was just so delightful. They gave this slight crunch and just melted in that vanilla goodness. Oh, I would eat this again and again and again. I'm like, where'd you guys get this? <laughs> Now, I must have just knocked out again because when I woke up, there was only two hours left of the flight and it was time for breakfast. I heard there was a chow mein noodle dish for brekkie and I just had to choose that one. I love savory, carby food for breakfast. It comes with yogurt, more cute little bread, I got coffee and juice, and here is my chicken noodles. Ooh, it's a pretty decent portion for breakfast, no? So the noodles did look a little dry and clumpy together, but y'all, the taste was immaculate. It was savory, oily in all the best way possible, and so good. 
there's beans in there, shreds of eggs, and chicken. I really enjoy the thick noodles, and the chicken was tender. I cleaned this tray. Yeah, it was good. And before we land, I wanted to show you guys that they had snacks that you can eat throughout the flight in case you get hungry. And yes, I did grab a few. Alright, this is the last plane. So this is the screen. Pretty standard stuff. We've seen it before. Dang. It's the same with the mirrors. Hello. And yeah. Guys, it's a super short flight. It's literally like, I think it's two hours. Yeah, it's just two hours, super short flight. And here are the seats. Same thing, no pillows or blankets because it's a short flight. Okay, we had a really good layover in Singapore, but I am so ready to just get there. I don't think there's any food on this plane, but just in case, I'm gonna vlog it. <laughs> And there was food! What? Singapore Airlines keeping me fed. So the meal comes in this cute little box and ice cream. I love that they gave out ice cream. This is a chicken curry with rice. It also came with some potatoes. And look how tender this chicken was. It was falling apart. So the little box is mostly rice, but the flavor was, you know, not bad. Meat texture was soft, potatoes were fabulous. I still finished all of it except for the huge amount of rice it was packed with. And then I had some chocolate ice cream and a little coffee to end the longest travel day of my life. It's not even day anymore, that's like two days. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for another airline food review for the way back.